Many years ago I came across the idea of meteor detection by radio waves. The basic principle was to tune a radio receiver to a VHF station over the horizon and thus normally inaudible. When a meteor burns up in the upper atmosphere between the transmitter and receiver, it briefly leaves an ionised trail that can reflect the radio waves from transmitter to receiver, producing a burst of sound in the receiver. Although I was intrigued by this method of passive meteor radar, at the time I lacked the resources to undertake any experiments. Nowadays, advances in technology and interest in the technique have made it a lot more accessible, and there are a number of articles on the World Wide Web explaining how quite sophisticated analysis of time, position and velocity can be carried out with affordable apparatus and readily available software. One such resource, available in the south of England, utilises the BRAMS transmitter in Dourbe, southern Belgium. BRAMS deploys a 150 watt transmitter emitting a continuous radio wave vertically upwards at a precise frequency of 49.970 MHz. This can be received using a suitable receiver and aerial system capable of detecting a CW or single sideband signal whenever the signal is deflected at altitude in the upper atmosphere over Belgium. Currently I'm only interested in audio monitoring of meteor events and not the detailed computer analysis of the received signals so all that was required was a suitable radio and aerial. The only suitable receiver that I had at the time was the Yaesu FT897D transceiver that I used for amateur radio. As the local noise levels, even in my urban environment, are low around 50 MHz, the radio was used with its pre-amplifier engaged and RF gain set to maximum. The receiver was tuned to 49.969 MHz upper sideband to yield an audible beat note of 1 kHz when detecting the BRAM signal. I had a choice of aerials but the most appropriate was a homemade three element Yagi. This was positioned on a single storey flat roof facing east. A previous whisper analysis of its performance showed a reasonably narrow beam field that included most of Belgium. Uh, instructions for the construction of a suitable simple Yagi can again be readily found on the internet. Since the reflection of the BRAM signal is often highly directional, uh, reception of identifiable meteor events is often sparse, except during predictable meteor showers. However, signal reception is independent of the weather or time of day, and so can continue over 24-hour periods. The orientation of the Earth with respect to the likely meteor direction is an important factor, and so long recording periods may be required to optimise the likelihood of success and to determine the optimum time of day. Audible detection may be enhanced by processing the audio signal through a narrow audio bandpass filter, uh, a few kilohertz bandwidth only, uh, centred on one kilohertz. This may be undertaken by a hardware filter in real time, or by post-processing of a recorded signal using software such as Audacity. Full audio spectral analysis and visual display of data is of course also possible and can yield more information about each meteor event. The following recording has been filtered using Audacity and edited down from about 30 minutes of continuous recording to highlight the detected events using the receiver and aerial previously described. Most of the events are recorded and heard as short duration pings.